and welcome to the Queendom. I'm Sarah Ingle and today I'm gonna to show you what's in my makeup bag. I just hit myself in the face with it. This is, me, I'm so royal. This is boop, my current makeup bag. So my 2019 edition of what's in my makeup bag we're about to do. And what's extra cool about this is this says Air Quart, an exclusive product of flannabags.com. Hashtag not sponsored which basically means this bag is um, not FDA, FAA approved, that it is the right size that you can have it full of liquids and take it on an airplane. So I can just grab this and I've got all of my liquids except my shampoo and conditioner. Ah! Anyway, <laughs> I'll stop playing with the bag. The bag is not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's super useful. All right, so without any further ado, let's get started. I was gonna do like this big dramatic zip and it was kind of like. <laughs> Ta da! All right, I'm gonna just sit this down and pull things out one at a time. My skincare products are not in this bag. This is just what's in my makeup bag. Um, but I do have a whole bunch of other things that I use for skincare. I have an AM whole set of stuff, I have a PM whole set of stuff, but those are for different videos for a different time. So I'm just gonna show you what's in my makeup bag. I'm gonna start with my handy dandy little primer. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, oil free. I have these in other little colors too. They have like a moisturizing one. They have a green one that's for canceling out redness. This is just the generic one. I really like this one. I like that it's little so it fits in tiny little spaces in the bag. So it's not taking up a lot of room. If you notice, I don't like big giant things because then I feel like you can't travel with them very easily. If they're small and compact, it makes it easier. This is great for putting on before you put your foundation on or BB cream like you're gonna see here in a minute. If you want it to stay on longer, I find that this is very handy. And just goes on a little bit more smoothly too. BB creams, I have two of them. This one I use all the time. I went through many bottles of this and it's like one of those things I absolutely love. It's just this Dr. Jart Black Label Detox. I love this stuff, love, love, love. Hashtag not sponsored, I just really like it. It does have SPF 25 in it, though I, I put sunscreen on before I put any makeup products on, but it's also just nice to have that extra layer of, of sun protection. And this one actually has SPF 50 plus. This one, you'll notice it's not in the lightest color. It's just in the color light. <laughs> um, and I'm like in the super duper duper, usually like really, really white one. But when I'm wearing some sort of self tanner, I will usually put a drop of this in with this. So this is the um, It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination Cream. It's a CC cream, but it's kind of got a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I think it looks really nice and dewy, especially for summertime, which it is right now. On most days, I can do that, but if there's like a little area that I wanna do some concealing or I need some heavier duty stuff, this is the RCMA, uh, which stands for Research Council of Makeup Artists, uh, Vincent Kehoe uh, Foundation Concealer Palette. This is VK number 11, I believe, and I have went through so many of these. This stuff is amazing. It's a little finicky to work with, so I don't necessarily recommend it for beginners, but for anybody else, you can do anything with this. It matches like so many different skin tones, but you can do contouring with this, which is really handy. And you've got it all in one little flat palette. It's got a great big mirror. Look, can you see yourself? Maybe not. They actually now make this too in like removables. But yeah, if I have like like something I want to conceal. Conceal, don't feel. Just to, I can take a little bit of that and, and, and cover it up really easily with this. It looks so natural. It's like the furthest thing from cakey. It's amazing. Anyway, that's this. I think almost everybody has a beauty blender. This thing works for everything. This one, this one's just about seen the end of its life. It's looking a little less pink than it used to, but you can use this for, for all sorts of things, for setting powders, which my favorite one, the Ultra HD um, Makeup Forever, I love this one. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and seal it in with this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and bam, 
all of your under eye circles are gone. Pat it on underneath over top of your under eye concealer and this stuff is magical. Okay, what else do we have in here? Ooh, highlighter. A good highlighter just makes all the difference. This high beam from Benefit is spectacular. I love this. I've been through many of these as well. And if you need to seal it in, this, I don't think they make anymore, but this is Max. It's an iridescent powder in Silver Dusk. Um, it's a iridescent powder. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> what else do we have? Oh, I know I show you. This is one of my new favorite, favorite, favorite. I use this, another benefit thing. This is Benetint. I use this as blush. I sometimes use a little bit even like in the crease of my eye. I use this on my lips, this thingy, and and this, and maybe my under eye concealer. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm good to go. But just really, really just these two things. I'm a, I'm a happy camper. I absolutely love this. And it's so handy to have something that works multi-purposes, especially like traveling again, like the lips, the cheeks, and it looks so incredibly natural. You just like pat it all in and it's just gonna look super, super natural. When I do this Benna tint on the lips, this is something new I found. I used to use a Ben Nye lip liner in Wineberry, but I lost it at Disneyland. But I found this Revlon Color Stay Long Wear Lip Liner in the color wine. I thought that sounds close to Wineberry. Let's try it and I like it. And it's a lot easier to get this because um, I just went to Target and got it versus some Ben Nye. If you need it in a hurry. You have to order it online or try and find some place that does carry Ben Nye, but it's mostly costume makeup. So a lot of times they won't even carry the lip liners in stock. And they're like, oh, we can order one for you. I'm like, no, but I got a film today. It's a true story. This little brush um, came with the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I think it's super helpful because it has two ends. It's this little teensy tiny end for little detail things you might need to do. And then it's got this end that works. It works, I feel like it works great in creases. It works great a lot of places. It's just like a good, like, handy brush. Oh, this, Naked Urban Decay Basics. I also have the original Naked Palette from Urban Decay. I use that all the time. It's a little bit bigger though, so if I want something compact for like the makeup bag, not the makeup like counter where I have drawers of stuff. Uh, <laughs> this, this is a little more compact. And you see, I had a little accident and dropped it. And this used to be black, but I use Foxy, Naked 2, and Venus quite, quite a bit. Aha! This, is another drugstore product. This is NYX Professional Makeup, they call it. Micro Brow Pencil, and this, what color is this? Ash Brown. I've heard that this is very similar to one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills products. I love their products, their brow stuff's amazing, but this was just cheaper and handy, and I really like it. It's got a little brush too, so you can make sure your eyebrows are brushed through. I think this is in a lot of my princess makeup tutorials. This is Espresso Eyeliner. It's a Ben Nye eyeliner, which I know again is technically like the costume makeup. But this Espresso, it's a dark brown. I'm gonna do the swatchiness. My hands are a little dirty. It's just a brown, it's a, a dark brown color. I mean, what do you expect to have a color called espresso? These guys go together, hand in hand. This is just a, a lash curler. This is a pink one from Sephora. I thought it was a bright, fun color. Curling your lashes makes the biggest difference. This right here is Benefit. They're real. I've got a lot of Benefit products today. I didn't really notice that. Yeah, I think this is my favorite. Let's just call Benefit. They're real. And it is in, I don't know if they have different shades, but it makes them look really long. And that's why they call they're real, because they're like, oh, those are real lashes. No, 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 no. This, if I want to do anything over top of my Benetint on the lips, I want something just a little extra shine. This is fresh, <laughs> and I've used it too much sugar. I think that's what it's called, fresh sugar. Oh, it feels so good. It just feels nice on your lips. Mmm. 
I love this stuff. It just feels nice on. It's also helpful in your makeup bag to have a pair of tweezers. You never know when you might need them. And so they live in my makeup bag. Then I have two items left. This is Urban Decay All Nighter. This just seals your makeup in so well. It's a makeup setting spray and it says on it, it's up to 16 hour wear. You just spray some of this on your face and it will stay on and it keeps it sealed on your face even on hot days, which is excellent. And you don't have to worry about being cakey either. So you're not smushing powder all over your face. One last thing that's like, it's kind of like makeup, kind of not. This is like a, a Sally Hansen 2-in-1 nail white pencil. It has this little fancy like pointy edge where you can, if you're like a cuticle pusher, you can push it up or you can kind of do stuff underneath your nail, whatever, like kind of cleaning things you need to do at this end. And then you can open it up and it's a little white pencil that's meant for coloring on the underneath side of your nails. And then it makes the tips of your fingernails extra white. I don't know. Not really makeup, it's kind of like an added bonus. And there we go. Makeup bag is now empty. <laughs> I hope this was helpful for you. So tell me in the comments below, what's your favorite thing in your makeup bag? If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring the little bell if you actually want to be notified when those come out because YouTube probably won't tell you. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I think the funny thing is this one matches my skin tone so well and it's so light it's supposed to be like a highlighter. <laughs> but I'm just that white. Um, my nose is so itchy. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? This is so itchy. Let's see. Oh, I'm way too excited about that. Make a face.